Welcome student. Today let's learn how to multiply and divide numbers by ten, hundred and thousands. Now let's look at the rule which we use while multiplying any number by ten, hundred or thousands. When we are multiplying a whole number by a power of ten, add as many zeros as there are in the power of ten. For example, when we multiply any number by 10, we add one zero to that number. And when we multiply any number by 100, we add two zeros to that number. And when we multiply any number by thousands, we add three zeros to that number. Now let's learn the rule which we use while multiplying a decimal number by power of 10. In that case we will move the decimal to write one place for each zero in the power of 10. For example when we multiply any decimal number by 10 we move decimal one place to the right because power of 10 in number 10 is simply 1. While multiplying any decimal number by 100, we move decimal two places to the right. Because power of 10 in number 100 is simply 2. And when we are multiplying any decimal number by thousands, we move the decimal three places to the right. Now let's see a few examples to understand this. Here we need to calculate the following. First is 53 times 100. And we are aware that while multiplying a whole number by 100, we will simply add two zeros to that number so that we get 53 times 100 equals to 5300. While in 0 0.5 times 100, to multiply any decimal number by 100, we need to move the decimal point two places to the right. However, there is only one digit after decimal point, so add a zero first to create two decimal places. Then move the decimal point. Next is 1.02 times 10. While multiplying a decimal number by 10, we will simply move decimal one place to the right. So we get 10.2. Now let's see how to multiply numbers by using a place value chart. Always remember while multiplying any decimal numbers by power of 10, move all the digits in the place value chart to the left, one place for each zeros in the power of 10. For example, I take these numbers and I multiply 62.5 by 10. Now simply move each of these digits one place to the left. So 6 at tens now move to 100. Similarly, 2 at 1's moves to 10's and 5 at 10's move to 1's. Simply place the 0 at 10's place. So we get our answer as 625.0 which is simply 625. Now look at the next number. Let's multiply 45.5 by 100. Now on multiplying this by 100, we will simply move each of the digits two places to the left. So 4 at 10's now move to 1000. 5 at 1's moves to 100. While 5 at 10's move to 10's. Simply place 0 at 1's and 10's place. So that means our answer will be 4550. Now next we have 2.5. Let's multiply this by 1000. So move each of the given digit three places to the left. So now 2 at once move to thousands. 
5 at tens move to 100. Place the zeros at tens once in tens place. So we get our answer as 2500. So always remember while multiplying any decimal number by a power of 10, we need to move all the digits in the place value chart to the left one place for each zeros in the power of 10. Now let's see what happens to decimal when we divide a number by ten, hundred or thousands. While dividing any decimal number by power of ten, we simply move the decimal one place to the left for each zero in the power of ten. For example, when we divide a decimal by ten, we simply move a decimal one place to the left of that number. While dividing a decimal by 100, we move decimal two places to the left of that number. Similarly, while dividing a decimal by thousands, we move decimal three places to the left of that number. To understand this, let's consider a few examples. Here, we need to calculate the following. First is 25.3 when divided by 100. And we are aware that while dividing any decimal number by 100, we need to move decimal point two places to the left. So that means on dividing 25.3 by 100, we simply get 0 0.253. Now next is 0 0.5 when divided by 10. We know that while dividing a decimal number by 10, we move decimal one place to the left. So we finally get 0 0.05. Now at the last we have 1020.2 when divided by 1000. Again, while dividing the number by 1000, we will simply move decimal three places to the left. So now 1020.2 changes to 1.0202 Now let's see how to divide numbers by using a place value chart. Always remember while dividing a decimal numbers by powers of 10, we move the digits in the place value chart to the right one place for each zeros in the powers of 10. For example, I have these numbers and I divide 62.5 by 10. Simply move each of these digits one place towards the right. So 6 at 10s now moves to 1s, while 2 at 1s moves to 10s and 5 at 10s move to 100s. Now next we divide 45 by 100. Simply move each of these digits two places to the right. So now 4 at tenths move to tenths place, while 5 at ones move to hundredths place. So we are get our answer as 0.45. Now next we divide 52 by thousands. Simply move each of these digits three places towards the right. So 5 at tens now move to hundredths place, while 2 at ones move to thousandths place. So we get our answer as 0 So always remember that while dividing, we move the decimal one place to the left for each zero in the power of 10. And while multiplying, we move decimal one place to the right for each zero in the power of 10. With this, we come to the end of this topic. Goodbye and see you in the next session.